What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Boss Rush After Dark, the alternative podcast show for the Boss Rush Network. I am, of course, Laron Dawkins, and back with me, as always, are the beautiful Wando Pro people that I podcast with every week. So, welcome back, Stephanie. Thank you. Happy to be here to talk about some, I don't know yet, but fun stuff, maybe not fun stuff. I don't know. I'm tired. Keep going. Uh-huh. <laughs> and hello to you, Corey. Hello. I'm very interested in these messages you're getting me because of our podcast, Stephanie. This is oh, yeah. I'm going to share it. I know. <laughs> Do it. This is why I'm a little flustered, guys. So if you thought that was a horrible intro, I did just get thrown off because I'm date dating i'm single and dating whatever and everyone's like oh you do a podcast that's so cool where can i find you where can i find you so i'm like well if i can't get a relationship out of it i'm gonna at least draw on some damn viewers so i tell them and yeah add a girl and then i finally got a message with someone saying i'd make you do these podcasts with a butt plug in you by the way i have not responded but i got more messages just now saying Work, work you up to bigger and bigger ones, maybe even remote controlled vibrating ones. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Some people are oh. brave. Very brave. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Give them that, I guess. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't. I, oh, yeah. I don't even. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not... glad I'm not, da- I'm not dating anymore. I'm sorry, but dating no. fucking sucks, especially online dating. Uh, I met my, my wife question, online. My well, question is, how do people think this is <laughs> this is the right thing to do and say, though? To be fair, though, Tinder and all these other things didn't exist. Well, that's what I'm saying. Online dating has changed. So probably the time when you met your wife online is a lot different than now. Like this particular individual was talking about fucking on the first day. And I said, I'm not down with that. And he apologized. So I'm like, all right, fine. Just check out my podcast. Big mistake. He's getting blocked now. Now that yeah. I have my fun messages to share on it. But, And maybe it's different. Like, I'm sure girls can be ruthless on online dating. But I just feel like it's with guys. Like, it's just these unwarranted dick pics. And, yeah, like, I want to shove a butt plug in you. Ha <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Don't get me wrong. I can talk up a good game but i it's you got to read the room man like read the room <laughs> read the room Laurent, how are you tonight <laughs> i'm Laurent. I, I don't know i don't know what i am like listening to this this <laughs> Laurent, i have to tell you the last couple mm-hmm. of weeks you seem really stressed out oh have i at least initially like when we get on Really? I, I, you seem you seem just unrelaxed. I I, Maybe a I, little I, I guess annoyed. I I guess I can be pensive sometimes. I, I guess I guess there is that. Uh I don't know. Like uh like I don't tr- I don't well I don't try to convey how high strung I am. I can be high strung sometimes, but I don't try to convey it that much. So I'm I'm sorry if it if it's coming off like that because uh because like because like I mean, Wednesday not, nights not Wednesday during... nights are the night. Not during the show, but like sometimes, like when we first start, and I get, I know I get like this too, but like you just seem like a little like oh, today sucked, or like you know I'm stressed out about something dumb, you know. Well, I, I will I, I will say like you know there there's some stuff going on that that, that, that that's like in top of my mind. Like um mm-hmm. I don't know I think I think a while back I I explained to you guys that you know like um like you know like my mom has like gotten into this thing where it's like she's she's like she's like she's 69 years old but all of a sudden she's acting like she's some old ass woman that nobody wants to come visit or come do stuff with and stuff like that and so like every now and then i'll get on the phone with her and you know like um i'm getting one of these woe is me stories and it's like 
Uh, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do know like we'd spoken about it because I remember like you mentioned like you know you just looked one day at your at your pa- at your parents, Corey, and you said, "Wow, like my parents are getting older," you know, mm-hmm. so like that. And it's kind of the same revelation I had, you know. But right now, my whole thing is like, man, the way things are going, like it's like, is it time for me to like start asking mom is like her affairs in order, you know, like just to make sure like there's a will, you know, like uh, if something happens to her, you know, like I. Just, me or my sister have powers of attorney and stuff like that. And that's just mm-hmm. one thing, you know, like, yeah. you know, it's just job, job stress. And, you know, like, you, you know, trying to be, trying to be like a good, a good, like significant other to my boyfriend and stuff like that, you know, but just, 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 just a whole bunch of stuff. It's, it's the stuff that drives men crazy and stresses us out and gives us heart attacks, you know, mm-hmm. before we're age 50. Yeah. No, I, I hear you. No, I, I, that whole notion of, parents and stuff hit me this uh, hard this week because my mom fell this week oh like oh she is she okay well my mom and dad went to the park and my dad was like sitting on a swing or whatever like just being an old guy right and then my (laughs) mom was like was walking on the track and she fell and hit her head pretty hard oh shit and Mm. she had to get stitches and she hurt her wrist and like bruised her ribs and bruised her knees and it was like you know it was kind of like how did you like you know it's one of those freak falls that you just hear about sometimes where somebody falls and hits their head wrong and they they die you know and it was like yeah you know i thought about that a lot this week and it was not something i really want to think about often yeah, like is she is she fine though? Like there's no like she's, no like she's okay. I mean, she wasn't even gonna go to the doctor, and my there's, dad there's no head my, injury or brain bleeds or anything. No, my dad made her go, and she got all kinds of scans and X rays and stuff. So she's okay. She's just banged up and has some stitches. But man, it was kind of scary to you know. Yeah, and she wasn't even gonna tell me about it. Uh, That's the worst part. It's like, what do you mean? You're 68 years old. You need to tell, yeah, me about it because I'm your only child. <laughs> you know, maybe it, and, I don't know. It's, I don't know if it's their generational stubbornness or something. I mean, my dad's a lot like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad got hip, uh, had hip surgery today, uh, so oh geez, mm. oh yeah, that's a big one. He'll be yeah. discharged tomorrow. Yeah, my. Uh, Hip surgery is no joke. My dad had it a couple years ago, and it's just man, that's that's not a fun recovery. I mean, I guess it depends on how serious it was, but like, yeah, I don't know. And like, my cousin's health is scaring me a little bit recently too. You know, mm-hmm. um, so yeah. Well, she, this is the cousin. This is the cousin with cancer, though, right? Yeah, she went to the yeah. hospital last night again because she's has blisters in her mouth and her throat and Ooh. Ooh. it's it's like it's a side effect of chemo but like she's yeah. just like not feeling great and it's like i mean that whole situation is becoming more real than i want it to be and it's just man i don't know i i just feel so sorry for her i don't want her to be in pain but also like you have that notion where you don't want them to be gone either you know it's mm-hmm Mm hmm. Man. It's tough. I mean, I mean, just even before that, you wonder, are any of our parents going to have to be in a home or assisted living? Mm -hmm. And then I wonder, do I need to do a will thing? Like, I don't even know when the right time to create a will is some my parents like, oh, when you get married, just for example, that's when Mm -hmm. you make a will or something. Part of me is like. I don't know if I should bother. I only have one child and I have no shit to my name because whatever equity I have will just go straight to all the stuff that I owe. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, stop know. buying all these video games, Stephanie. Maybe be... <laughs> all the collector's editions. I yeah. know it's my own fault. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, my wife and I are in kind of in the middle of that kind of thing right now where we're trying to like, set up everything to make sure like oh if something happens like this happens if something if this happens you know what happens to my kids and all that kind of stuff so Mm -hmm. yeah see god i don't have kids so like it's like (laughs) 
Like, I don't know. Like, there's, there's a, there's also a part of me, you know, like I know, I know millennials like, like think about this shit, but I think about this shit too. Like, uh, like, like what have I done with my life? You know, like, I feel like, I feel like there's, there's some shit that definitely like, I did not like set myself up for when I was a younger adult that, you know, like, you know, like as I get closer to 50, it's like, man, like I fucked that up, <laughs> you know? And, um, wow. Like, yeah. I don't want to be that guy on the podcast tonight. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I just, everybody messes up somewhere, right? I mean, it's just, it's life. Life is messed up. And then, I don't know, you come back as a tree, I guess. I don't know. Come back as a tree? I would <laughs> want to be a tree. As long as I'm not the tree that gets split in half by lightning, I'm good, you know? It's fair. Or the one that gets cut, like, the inside catches on fire when it gets struck by lightning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, like no, no. My luck though, like if I'm not the tree that gets split in half by you know, like by like a lightning strike, I'll be the tree that uh, our car gets wrapped around. But the tr- I will be intact. You know, that's fair. <laughs> just, just somebody else's like blood and brain matter is all on me, all on me for the rest of my existence. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Speaking of delicious, uh, we got some patrons to talk about, don't we? We do. All of our patrons are delicious. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, did, that sounded very creepy. That's fine. They like it. Uh, look, if they're listening to this show, they know what's happening. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, if you want to support Boss Rush After Dark or any of our other podcasts here on the Boss Rush Network, you can head on over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash boss rush network for just a dollar you can subscribe to us and get early access to the boss rush podcast uh expansion pass standard definition and of course after dark uh patreon is a subscription service that allows you to support your favorite creators directly uh and they a lot of creators usually offer different tiers and you get different perks based on tiers. Our one dollar tier is our early access tier. Our five dollar tier, however, is our Patreon producer tier. What does that mean? It means you get all the early access stuff of the one dollar tier plus a Patreon producer credit shout out right here on this program as well as our other shows uh, during the month it's recorded. So without further ado, Our Patreon producers for this episode of Boss Rush After Dark are Quentin Jackson, Rebecca Jewell, Adriel Munger, my wife, Sana Dierig, and a new Patreon producer, everybody, Francisco Santillan. Woo! Again, I know I mentioned this on an episode of the Boss Rush podcast recently and Nintendo Power Block recently, but if I butchered your name, please DM us on patreon on patreon and le- just let us know because i don't coming from a person who has a name that people just annihilate all the time wait which 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 part of your name my last name derrick yeah like i knew what your last name was the first time i looked at it without even reading it, without even hearing it yeah well i mean people like to say during derg derrick Derek. Okay, like, I, can, I can see Derek. I can see Derek. Yeah. Hey, people, I don't know. Some people get it, some people don't. Like, my yeah. my married last name is Klimov, and when you look at the letters, it very clearly is K-L-I, but they always say Kilmov. <laughs> that p- bothers me. I'm like, just sound it out, guys. Sound it out. K-I-L- we're not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about how like how like P- my name has been bastardized throughout the years, throughout the near, throughout the the forty seven years I've been walking this earth. Really? Yeah. People are dumb. Yeah, I feel like I feel like a I feel like a a word a name that has five letters and is broken <laughs> up into two syllables, you know, should not be hard. You know. I know. It's like, what would they at, say? Le-ron? At worst, at worst, you should get Leron from this. There, there's been worse. What? Okay, now yeah, like there, like yeah, like there's letters that have been put in my name that aren't even on the name in paper. You know, so I've I've gotten Leroy, I've gotten Lerin, um, <laughs> uh, 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 shoot, uh, I've had I've had Lorraine one time, and I'm like, 
<laughs> how many extra layers you how many extra layers did you throw in there you know and stuff like that you know like it's 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 crazy i've done see i've got larue um and i'm like really um yeah like yeah and and you know like i've heard i've heard it all now because like the one the one thing you never want to do is like you know you, you don't want to call somebody out their name right but I've gotten to a point now where it's like, where it's like, if someone calls me Leron, like I would just be like, yeah, what's up, you know, yeah, so like that, you know, like uh, unless unless it's like a true like, you know, like you jacked up my name, like I'm gonna, I'm I'm usually won't correct you at this point, because I remember fighting all those battles when I was a kid, you know, like trying to tell teachers and adults like what my name was, and all of a sudden, you know, I'm that smart guy like that's talking back to the adults and all this shit, and I'm like, no, just say my damn name correctly. Say my name. Say my name. Exactly. 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 No, I'm gonna call you Leroy yeah. <laughs> from now on. Because <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, like shit. You know, it's like, you know, it's like, well, how would you like if I called you Bertha, Brenda? <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. Shit like that. <laughs> nice. Uh, fun fact. Or I just, or if I call you Joe, Steve. <laughs> fun fact: When I first started doing podcasts and content creating, I used to go by my middle name and not my last name because I didn't want people to butcher my last name because I was so tired of hearing it. Corey Hudson, though, it's, it rolls off the tongue well, though. I it know. does. Yeah. I thought about doing that for a long time, and then I was like, nah. Somebody's going to find out anyway. I'm not, I'm not telling people what... I'm not telling you guys what my middle name is on podcast tonight. I'm not. Like, I will tell you after show wraps, you know, but we're not, getting my, we're not getting it on recording. Eleanor. Because... Because that's another, because that's another sticking point, you know, of uh, of of people, of of people, not so much like going out of their way to like mispronounce your name, but good, but going out of your way, going out of their way to use your name to embarrass you. Why do people? Why do people not like their middle names? I like my middle name. I, I do. Like my middle name. But too. I don't. But I don't like my middle name enough to to put to put me put myself out there to be to be teased. My wife doesn't have a middle name. Like there's like there's nothing there's nothing wrong with any part of my any any part of my my first middle or last name in my opinion. As a matter of fact, like my last name Dawkins, I thought that's that's a really distinguished last name. Like <laughs> sounds sounds like you're an athlete. Like I like I like I tell like I tell people I was like if I want to marry you, you should be honored to take this strong ass last name. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing sad. about names. Like I don't you know, claim to be perfect when trying to pronounce everybody's name. But like, you know, at mi- bare minimum, I just ask people and I do so myself is sound it out. Don't mm-hmm. add yeah. letters. Don't remove letters. Like I <laughs> just don't get it. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like we all learned how to read by like, you know, like by, by using phonics or phonetics and stuff like that. So like same thing applies, you know, just, uh, just, just look at it for a second, you know, like uh, as the the most skilled reader they always pre-read their stuff before they actually start reading it you know if if that makes any sense you know like you know like uh like you usually scan your words right you know and this is where and i feel like the older we get like like the more dyslexic we become because like i swear like i look at some really common words and i will i will misread it the first time you know and i was like wait i'm better than this like what <laughs> Yeah. How did I wind up like like turning this word into an anagram? Like, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> like I'm looking at the keyboard right now. I'm looking at the caps lock key, and you know an anagram for caps lock is cock slap, right? Oh my gosh, that's awesome! <laughs> wow. Cock slap. I'm gonna like see this. Is- this is where my this is where my shattered ass ADD ADHD mind goes. <laughs> It's all right, but that reminded me of like it's not a full topic, but like a mini quick topic that I I wanted to ask, and it's very kind of related relate related just because of but we can finish this. Cock <laughs> slap. <laughs> uh, yeah, look. Yeah, look Hawk at it. Slap. Yeah, it's exact same letters. <laughs> huh. Interesting. A whole new word. Well, actually, caps lock is is two words, but we we say caps lock. We I'm like staring at one. the key now. I'm just like staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> sounds sounds oh, like man. one of sounds like one of Stephanie's uh, dating app messages. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Oh man! And it's it's yeah. it's mostly about butt plugs or being pegged. Like how a lot you, to do with the asshole. How are you? Yeah. How are you? 
Okay. Does Stephanie, Stephanie come off I, as a I, pegger? Steph- no, I, I look at Stephanie. I'm like, I don't see anywhere where like where like her one of her extracurricular activities is pegging dudes. I I I would not judge a man for liking to be pegged because I don't. What's that phrase? Like, I will never yuck someone's yum. Like for whatever yeah. reason. But oh, I'm gonna, I, oh, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell all of our male listeners right now. Like like you don't know what an orgasm is. You have a prostate orgasm. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Right, and and I've read it in Cosmo. Fine, no problem. I just personally. I've never done it, so I might be a little hesitant in doing it just because I don't, I, I'd be afraid of hurting someone or like ripping their intestine apart. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, I don't so know. you're not. Oh, so you're not like the average woman is just like, no, it's 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 a dude's butt. No, I'm not going there. <laughs> I mean, I like I said, I'll be hesitant, but if whoever I'm with says, hey, listen, it really turns me on. Like this is what I like. I, I would be open minded. Like I will mm-hmm. do my best, but yeah, but I would never fist someone there because I don't oh. want my hands. See, we went to a whole new level. Well, yeah. <laughs> we we started here, and then then we 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 got to here, and now and now we're like way over there. Stephanie, Stephanie went from here to like three rooms that way, <laughs> and in the attic with the creepy people. <laughs> Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, the creepy guy in the attic just looking down through like the le- like the, like the air conditioning bit. Like, damn, yeah. girl, you you wild. Yeah. <laughs> but no, well, I give people you know men credit for for willing to try it too, because you know some of the really close minded <sighs> ones that automatically mm-hmm. assume that if you like to be pegged, you're gay. You're gay, yeah. Or you're homo. Yeah. I'm like, mm, that's no, like. No. I've 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 always been very appreciative of, of of especially a man that you know like knows what they're into sexually you know mm-hmm. you know because like because like knowing your own sexuality does not mean that you're that that you're anything that you don't want to label yourself as like so you don't want to be called if you don't want to be called anything but straight you know like the fact that you're in tune to your own body knows gets you off like hey like I I stand for it just like you know you know like I. I can't slut shame anybody, you know. Like I got, I got some stuff that you know would definitely get me slut shamed. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna ask it flat out then. So, mm-hmm. have you heard of the term BDF? 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 No. Isn't that a band? Is it? I don't know. Um, anyway, because I've been <laughs> <laughs> Corey, I've been listening to um, 90 Day Feet. 90 Day Gays. Um, they're a podcast that talks about like 90 Day Fiance. You should tell your wife. She to probably listen to listens to it. Text her. Oh, anyway, um, they're amazing. These two guys, like one's a life coach and one's a psychologist or something. So they don't just like talk about the show. They actually like, kind of psychoanalyze them. That's why I like them. And they're hilarious as fuck. And they talk about which guys have BDF and it's big dick face. Like, I've never heard that term before. So it's like they can quote unquote judge a guy about whether or not he has a big cock by his face, by his looks. Like, oh, that guy is BDF energy. So I'm like, oh, okay, have you guys heard of the term? And do you feel like you can tell if a guy's got like a big dick energy or big dick face? No, because uh, no, I, I I honestly can't because I'm mm, I don't know. See, number one, like you know, as far as like as far as like my my game bisexuality that I'm talking about right now. Like I'm not really a size queen, I'm not. So you know, like, uh, so you know, like, in all honesty, like, if it if it gets to a certain if it gets to a if it gets past a certain length, I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm checking out of this, you know. So like, I don't just like, I get where the term big dick energy comes from. It's like it's it's about their their cockiness or swagger or whatnot. But um, I I don't just uh, I just don't just automatically go there. Like, oh, he must have a big dick because he's like he's he's like this, you know? Nah, because. <laughs> Because that's if, if that's true, then you know we definitely know that that guys that drive jacked up jacked up trucks and stuff, you know, like they got little dick energy. Oh you god, know? Mm-hmm. don't get me started on that. Ugh. Yeah. I, to be fair, I've never really like looked at a guy and was like, hmm, I wonder if his physical attributes attribute to his dick size, right? Like, I, <laughs> I, I just never it never crossed my mind, you know. I is. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can never really tell. It's the same thing about the whole hands and feet thing. That's not always 100% true because I dated a guy whose foot size was almost my foot size, but he was not 
small by any means. See, yeah, yeah, like, that's another thing. I, I don't get, like, the correlation behind, like, certain attributes of your body, like, like automatically, like, correlating to how big or how small your dick is. I don't, I don't get that either, you know? You know, and then again, like, I... Like, I have people, like, when I am on dating apps and stuff, I have people coming at me, and the first thing they want to know is how big is my dick because I'm black. You know, I'm black, and I'm over uh-huh. six feet tall and stuff like that. And I'm like... Must be huge. I mean, <laughs> I'm not... I'll just no say dicks this. on like, YouTube. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. The, uh, the, the, the man is no, no... The man is no... What is it? No, no match to the legend. There we go. There we go. <laughs> When it comes to myself, the man is no match for the legend. <laughs> and, you know, like, I'm not, yeah, I'm definitely not implying that big, big, bigger is better necessarily. And every time I, why do I feel like I get in these conversations with if, men a lot? They're like, no, you're just saying it. <laughs> if, if I'm basing some things off of what I've seen in porn, like, guys with big dicks, they, they, they don't stay hard. <laughs> yeah. It's like it, a- it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that also that, that that should also give people an idea of like how many big dicks I've run across in my life. <laughs> there we go. But I also don't like micro penises, as one of my <laughs> gay gays mentioned. That it looks like a, a cashew uh, in a bird's nest. Oh, or, 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 or just what? or just a second belly button. <laughs> Wait, what's the name? What's the name of this group? What, what's the name of those guys? Ninety day gays. They explain a micro penis is like a a cashew in a bird's nest. <laughs> oh my god. Ninety day gays. I see reality gays. I don't see 90 day gays. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe they rename them. Are they like picture of two guys? One's a redhead. Yeah. Yeah. Those are them. They're fabulous. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just got another message for, from a different person. Read it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. First look. Read I it out loud. I bet you look really hot wearing a brutally large strap on. <laughs> okay. You're being trolled now. You're being trolled. <laughs> no, this is a different person. Oh, okay. This is a different person. See, there's just something really big about being pegged, I guess. How, okay, so how how big are they talking? Are you just talking like something that, you know, like looks like it could be anatomically correct? Or are we talking like something from like baddragon.com? About what? I, what? Oh, you don't know about that website? No. What? What? <laughs> Baddragon.com is a dildo website, but it's all it's all it's all it's all like animalistic like stuff, you know. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm actually scared of using a dildo, not because of what you may think, but I don't think I have the stamina, despite being a cardio person, mm-hmm. to fuck someone with a dildo like how a man fucks. I just can't. I don't trust think. me, we don't have this. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh but man. Anyway, that was like I just why, wanted to that's ask. Why, that's why legit some dudes only last like two minutes. <laughs> gotcha. Well, and that's why they like women on top so much. But even then, for me, my thighs burn, and I'm like, I'm tired, and I collapse. I'm nah, like, woman on to- woman on top gets me in trouble. <laughs> you know, should we not call it woman on top? Is there another term for it? Because it's cowgirl. Like, it's cowgirl. Cowgirl. Sorry. Or, cowgirl. Cowboy. Depending on your preference. Oh, okay, that's more. The okay, gotcha. Yeah. Cowboy cowgirl position. Oh, I was yeah. just gonna go with the basic straddle position, but you know, Corey, you're what, so what, basic. What, what, I'm a what, simple what, man, I guess. <laughs> who, who's your are, are your parents the Cleavers? What, what? <laughs> the straddle position? <laughs> Gee golly, mister, I just like the simple stuff. Uh, <laughs> he's talking about the simple stuff. We, we've heard your, <laughs> your, your sleazy sex stories. <laughs> Uh, this is from another time. <laughs> I would say three and a half years, like four years ago, almost now. Oh, uh, just... Nope. Plus nine months. I don't know. So basically it all went away as soon as you got married. Is uh, that what you're saying? No, I'm saying children change a lot of things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. They are like the biggest cock block. Ugh. Okay, I tell you a funny story. Maybe I told it already. So forgive me if I told it again. Mm-hmm. Go for the it. The last, the last person I dated, um, I very rare. I mean, I was with this guy for a while, like over a year, but it took me a while to eventually have him over on the same night as my son. Like mm-hmm. it took a while. When that finally happened, like no PDA in front of my kid. I put my kid to bed. Okay, put my kid uh. to bed. And I'm ready to get it on, right? <laughs> <laughs> I put on a outfit like if we're thinking outfit let me just kind of 
skirt around the description. Leather was involved. Oh, boy. Nipple clamps are involved. Mm. Damn. Okay, collars are involved. So that's where we're going. And then I close the door, obviously, and I lock it. Right? Because, I, you know, and... I was I I wasn't sure if I should lock it because my son has never by that time come into my room after I put him to bed. Once I put him in bed, he stays in his room. But I'm like, you know what? Just in case. And guess what? The kid tried to come into my room. Ah. Uh. And I'm like scrambling with my fucking nipple whatever thing clamps, and I like wrap myself in a bath towel, unlock the door, and poke my head out. I'm like, what do you want, honey? He goes. I just wanted to see if you're still there. I'm like, oh, mommy's still here. He's like, I can't sleep. I'm like, uh, and I, I go and grab my laptop. I put SpongeBob on. I'm like, go to bed. <laughs> Mommy needs to finish something. <laughs> oh, man. That was wild. So mm. kids can be a cock block, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, yeah, for real. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Not great. Corey's like, why did you put that image in my brain? <laughs> no, I just no, I'm just I'm still stuck on on nipple clamps. I'm like, that sounds like it hurts so bad. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> it hurt. It does hurt, but some people, Corey, like pain. I, I, I understand that. And I'm kind of. I've in been the, there. I'm kind of in the middle. You've been there. You have had nipple clamps on yourself. Yes, but also <laughs> Yes. I This is this is the clip. This is the, this is the pre-so clip. This, this is it right here. Silence. No. Okay. So Wow. Yes, but also took them off immediately cuz they hurt so bad. That's the story. There's no more story other than that. Were they wait, wait, were they were they were they like barbed? You know what I mean? Like, you know, like you know like you know like I don't like know bear, what you mean. They were are. clamps, Laurent. You know like how bear traps are you, you know how like bear traps are where they have like the with with the serrated. It basically. was not a bear trap, first of all. Oh, I know it's not a bear trap, but you know what I mean? Like <laughs> they have the teeth. They have the teeth, you know what I mean? No, they did not have teeth. It was just like Okay. It was So it was just it was just basically some stuff that basically, it was basically like, a glorified like like clothespin that you close hang clothes out on the line. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Basically. Okay. Basically, like a chip clip. Damn. You, know? you got some sensitive nips. Oh yeah, I do. I don't. I don't look. These are these are private property. <laughs> no entry. Okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, I can take a little pressure online. Not much. Not much. Mm. But I mean, I can take a little bit. <laughs> no, not into the pain. Yeah. Well, you can kind of guess that i might have some psychological issues if i'm into that but hey it's all good no also, one gets hurt and here i am th- here i am sitting here thinking like 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 i like i like i like hot wax but you know like also there's, someone, there's an art to that now someone bit my nipple so hard one time and <gasps> it see that's some bullshit started mm, there is some blood I did wait they break some, oh see yeah blood no, they're, uh, so okay i also also, have had giant scratches on my back. That yeah. that's bit, isn't are, that a badge of honor, though. It not when you have to go into work the next day and then work a twelve-hour shift, and people are like, you know, hitting you on the back. So Sorry, that's how we mark our territory. Okay. <laughs> it was marked all right. Uh, <laughs> oh, I leave a mark every time. Yeah, I just. Uh, was a was a good time one in my thing, life though. One, one thing, I, thing one thing happens. I absolutely hate is is getting a hickey. That's one thing I hate. I don't get them that I don't get them that often. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it. Here's that burn where I said I burn myself. Oh yeah, like a hickey. <laughs> it looks like a hickey, but it I does. that's a, a burn. it does look like a hickey. Which, by the way, what is it with men not liking their nipples played with? I've well, never been a man that doesn't like his nipples played with. That no, likes... I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem having my nipples played played with. Like, but you can't just like traumatize them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No biting. No scratching. No clamping. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can no. You can bite. You can bite my nipples. Nibble. But nibble. Uh, you, nah, nibbling is. I, I feel like nibbling is. I don't know. You can bite my nipples, but what I'm saying is like, do not, do not try to. Do not use so much force that it, like launches me off the bed, you know. 
Yeah. Ouch. Now, now I just like. I, now I just want to do this. I think she's frozen now. I know. She oh is. no! You guys oh, are frozen you. to me. We, we, we hear, hear you. you. Do you want me to just leave the call and come back? Just turn your camera off and turn it back on. Oh. Now, I that just want to do this now, though, Loran. I just want to like. Ah! I don't know what this is. I can't see. He oh. crosses arms. He crosses arms across his chest. Yeah, okay. like. Yeah, like drop and come back in. All right. Bye. Oh no! I'm like I can't. I got the uh, rain, uh, uh, rainbow cartwheel circle. Oh, you of got death the rainbow the wheel of death. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something's about to crash. All right. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, should pause the recording right there. Yeah, let's just keep going. She'll be back in a minute. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, like uh, like I mean, like I've got like a, I've got like a freaky side, but I'm not I'm not out there, you know. Yeah. No, I I mean I definitely was way more I I guess experimental and uh like my twenties than I am would be now, you know. Mm. So I don't know. Just the pain though, man. Pain. Pass. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm not big I'm not big on pain, like you know, like I don't know, like it kinda kinda takes me back to like to like back to that childhood, like you know, like when you're, <laughs> like when parents are like spanking you and whipping you, and like I'm not, I'm like I'm not, I'm not trying to experience that again. Yeah, <laughs> just the the tra- tra- traumatizing childhood is why I don't like my nipples pinched, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, but then there, but then you run across that one person that's like, yeah, that's beat my ass. And it's like, uh, uh. uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, you, you do realize I just lost my boner because you said that. Yeah. Uh. Laurent had a boner? No, yeah, you not missed right it. now. He showed it to me. <laughs> Aww, come on. I missed the best part. <laughs> no, we're talking about we're talking about people who like who like throw you for a loop, like, you know, like you're doing freaky stuff and they'll say something like, Oh, beat my ass or something like that, and it's like, uh uh what? <laughs> Oh, like random things that they blurt out, and you're like, "Hold up!" Yeah, yeah, like, uh, like I, I don't think I got the permission slip for, <laughs> you know. I don't, I don't understand the spanking either. That's <gasps> what one. I don't get. No, if it's, if it's playful, I get it. You know, if it's playful, I get it. You know, no, but not I, no, it, but not it's... some shit where like you you tie them you, you you tie them up to a wall and you just like start wailing on. No, them. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about tying people up. That's hmm, that's kidnapping uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> i have a i have a rule like i can be tied up or i can be blindfolded but i cannot be both at the same time uh but yeah i don't know i just uh when you're like playfully doing it and they're like harder and then you like can't <laughs> um, it, it hurts you to slap so hard like my wrist <laughs> i need get that a prop Stop complaining. And get a prop. What prop? <laughs> like uh. Stephanie's gonna Stephanie's gonna send him a writer's. I'm out of Spencer's <laughs> gifts. Oh, I don't have it. I used to have it right on my bedstand. Never mind. <laughs> I, I had a, like a leather thing that has hearts on it, so when you use it, you leave little hearts. Welts. Yeah. Little heart welts. <laughs> Your kid's probably playing with it. Thinking it's like some sort of toy right now. Uh, well, you know, I'm gonna, a... <laughs> I'm gonna surprise. I'm gonna surprise my boyfriend next time we're about. To... <laughs> we're about to know. hook up. <laughs> back back in the day, outfits were the thing. There's well, not a thing now. I mean, like that was the thing that got me going was outfits and costumes and stuff. Like like your partner dressing up, or you or you dressing up, no, or you dress both up. dressing up. No, I'm not dressing up. I'm not. No. Hey, I'm on. not. I'm not saying you have to like you have to like roll out and like like freaking like fish nets and a freaking like a like a like a Catholic schoolgirl like skirt or some shit. I just right. Like for me, if a guy wore even like a suit, like on. a tie, like Hold a on, shirt Corey... tie, or a police <laughs> uniform. <laughs> what the Corey... right? Corey used to play sports, so come on. I know you. I know you did some like some like sports role play with one of your girlfriends. I mean, there you go. 
I mean, mm-hmm. there He's you go. Thinking about it. I am thinking about it now. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, like shit, I used to be in the military, so yeah, like every now and then my <gasps> uniform was a prop. I've I've seen some military props before, yes, <laughs> as well. I they weren't they weren't government issued, but <laughs> they were just like ones you found at like I don't know whatever <laughs> stores existed back then. Couldn't just order everything off of Amazon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, I mean, cop a cop was one, firefighter was one, cheerleader yeah. was one. Wait, 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 you, wait, wait! You dressed up as all? No, these? I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. Damn. I think you make a very pretty cheerleader. Thank you. I prefer the longer skirt than the short one. I have big legs, so you know. See, now I have this image. Oh God! <laughs> oh God! Corey in a pair of Spanx. Oh my God! Now, uh, that's an image that God. It's gonna take. It's gonna take at least like 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 a, a few drinks to burn that one out of my skull. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for doing wonders for my uh, self esteem there, Laurent. <laughs> Appreciate it. No, uh, no. It's, it's, it's you know it's 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 already you know low how, as like, it is. Always, okay. 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 Let's let's put it like this. You know how like you know how like there are things that you don't want to catch your parents doing like. <gasps> Yeah, that, yeah. Like thinking about you in a cheerleading outfit is one of those things I would not want to catch you doing. That's all. <laughs> Has that been a topic? Can I just say, since you mentioned that, my uh-huh. I was at my mom's house because my dad had surgery, and she said they might get a call from the doctor. So can you be around? So I was. While I was there, my mom, bless her, I love her. She was talking the entire time. I was trying to focus and work, and she goes, "Can you help me with a couple computer stuff?" Fine. So I help with mm, God. The last one was when you're in your Gmail and you know how there's like the Google Hangouts at the bottom left where if you can see if people are online and people can enter Google Hangouts there, like a live chat. Yeah. My mom's like, S- one time there was a woman that popped up in your father's email chat and it said, and my mom said it without even like flinching. It was, do you want to see my wet pussy? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I really, A, did not want to hear you say that. B, I don't want to imagine my dad, I don't know how, I don't want to know. And, like, it's one of those things where I, like, I did not need to be a part of this conversation. Well, sh- well shit. Like, your dad's got it going on because, like, every time I'm in Gmail, it's always, like, like, like lonely housewives want me to want me to come and have Viagra. No, but I, but see, I don't want. <laughs> see or hear that with my dad because I already had a traumatizing experience once I was at my house before I moved out and I heard my dad watching porn and I was so disturbed Ooh. so disturbed I was really upset I walked out of the house I couldn't handle it Ooh. like and it's not like I'm naive in a sense like yeah everybody, everybody has sex I don't want to hear it <laughs> I don't want to be near I don't want to know that it's going on Put the volume low and close the damn fucking door. <laughs> you should, you should, you should like, like bang on the door, like here. You need these. Give us some AirPods. <laughs> yes, dude. I wish AirPods were invented back then. <laughs> oh shit! I lost my AirPods recently. Watching porn. Yes, watching porn. <laughs> I don't know where they went. I had them in, and they just disappeared. They're 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 fairly inexpensive though, right? They're not they're not super expensive to replace because I think Apple knew that people were gonna misplace and lose those things, right? No, they're super expensive. You have to buy how new ones. much? How much are pair? Are we talking like expensive like Joy-Con controllers? AirPod Pros are two hundred dollars on sale wow. on Amazon right now. <laughs> wow! Wow! Do, I, do I, not. I think I left them. Oh, at... you're fucking right. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god. I think I left them at work. Did I'm... you link them to your phone so you could find it? I did, yeah. but I my phone says they're in one place, and my computer and my laptop say they're in another place. And my other laptop says they're in my driveway. So, <laughs> oh shit! Which well, which made me think that you know I feel they like were in my car. Believable. 
it made me think that they were in my car, so I tore it, my car apart looking for these things, and they weren't in there. Mm. I think I mean I think I left them at work, and I haven't been there for three weeks because whatever. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I had someone check it for me at work the other day, and they said they weren't in my office, so I don't know. Mm. That uh, sucks. And I, I, like, I, I man, it just really sucks. It does. I'm sorry. Man, two hundred dollars. But so, um, gone, have, gone. Have either of you had the displeasure of hearing or witnessing family members going at it, or by themselves going at it? Uh, I, I do, rec- I do recall hearing my parents have sex, like when I, I was when I was a teenager. I do recall that, and the sad part was like it was. It, it wasn't like they were super loud, and it wasn't like I was going out of my way to listen, but I could hear them. You know what I mean? And it's like, mm-hmm. and it's one of those, and it's one of those things. Is like, it's 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 definitely uncomfortable to like to like be witness to. So, God, I I never have like I I don't know why or how or whatever, but I just never. You have. are lucky. Lucky hey. you. Well. I know you made this joke earlier, Laron, that <laughs> Beaver Cleaver or whatever, but my parents sleep in separate rooms. Like they don't, they like. You know, I've 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 learned I've learned that you know like 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 married adults do that, and it's for certain reasons. Like like somebody snores or someone's just a wild sleeper in the bed, you know, and stuff like that. You know, you know. So I I wouldn't always say that's weird. <laughs> But man, how did how did it make sense like watching all those old school sitcoms and like and, like seeing them in like two different beds? It, that that was yeah. where it's like it's like it. <laughs> and we know, and we all know that was never true. Like it's a, it's a TV thing. We all know it was never true. Like well, I mean, unless they're like living in the eighteen hundreds, yeah. Then you know, like yeah, like there were definitely like like I know there was like households where like you were like men and women slept in separate beds and stuff like that. And the only time they came together was when it was time to have kids. Hmm. I'm watching a sunbreak trailer later on. Not to like change the subject or anything. Oh, I think Corey gosh. really wants to change the subject. <laughs> I I mean, I don't care either way. I just Sorry, I heard I no, to... I heard I heard one of my kids crying, and I'm trying to figure out if I need to get up or not. Oh, no. Ah. It was so late, too. The uber uncomfortableness of, like, our, of knowing our parents have sex. Knowing our parents have sex, you know, like, you know, recreationally, you know. Yeah. Why, yeah. why are we, wait, why are we like this? Because, like, we, because, <laughs> like, are we like this. I don't we, know. That's such a broad question. Because we, as, because we as, as, as adult individuals ourselves, like, yeah, we'll talk about sex all day long and stuff, and we acknowledge everybody has sex, but it's just some about the parents having sex is like, oh, that is, that's a bridge too far. Yeah. And I, yeah, I don't understand the psychology of it either, because especially as a full grown adult, and I know full well everybody has sex. Uh, clearly that's how I got here and it's totally normal. Yeah. But yeah, I never ever want to hear experience. It's just, yeah, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a family thing. Cause like I've heard my friends, like when we're in college, cause you know, in dorms, the walls are super thin. Like I've heard other people have sex and it was annoying, but it really didn't bother me half as a fraction as badly as mm-hmm. family, family. I don't know. And that's why like, I want to avoid scarring my son that way. I also reverse never want to walk in on my son if he is masturbating. I that's my worst nightmare. Not because I don't condone it. I know it'll happen. I know it's natural and normal. I just don't want to see it or it's hear the, it. Yeah, and it's the overall embarrassment on both sides. <laughs> yeah. I just wish I could just. Well, no, I can't talk to him now about it because he's. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, he's too young. I can't do it. <laughs> well, sometimes I wonder. He's always freaking grabbing his. I call him his wee wee nuts. Like he's always <laughs> grabbing it. Little boys are always doing that. <laughs> but it's in every picture, so there'll be like this nice family picture, and it's ruined because his hands just tugging on it. <laughs> tugging on it. I'm like, Come get him on, better. Dude. Get him better underwear. <laughs> 
<laughs> I changed his underwear for that. I thought maybe it's like hugging close to it. I bought him like a size bigger, and he's still like just tugging. All right, for a second there, I thought you were about to say, yeah, you got him like little boy boxers, and I was like, oh, come on now. <laughs> I got him little boy boxers. I got briefs. I got boxers. I tried everything. <laughs> no, like, no, like young boys are fat. I, I want. <laughs> Corey, what what would you say? What would you say is the age where like where like young boys stop doing that? I, I want to say it's like nine years old. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's, I'm not like checking out little boys tugging their <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, you know what? Well, well, here, well. Here's the cool thing about it. You have you have a son here's now. Here's the cool so, like, thing you, about it. Didn't <laughs> you have a son now? So yeah. you will notice it more often than not now. Right. Like I obviously only notice because it's my son oh. and. My kinder- his kindergarten teacher actually emailed me and says it's he does it so much it's distracting to the class. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I, actually, Corey, I was about to ask you: as uh, is, is has your son hit the phase yet where he's taking his own diaper off? No. That's usually when boys discover themselves, like when 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 they start taking their own diaper off. Yeah, he I he, he's not ready for that yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's an interesting fellow, though. <laughs> he started his new thing is to growl like like a lion, wow. like a like a lion, like he'll just like ah! no he'll like sit like he doesn't walk yet, but he'll sit up on he'll stand up on his knees, and he'll just be like he'll be like he'll put his hands up like this he'll be like rawr Aww. and then he'll and then he'll like <laughs> pounce on you he'll be like Mah. so cute so so cute. Much cuter than tugging at your private. So is he? Uh, is he? Is he crawling or walking now? He's. I mean, he's crawling. He's gonna walk any day now. He just doesn't want to. I don't think. He's at that point where like he'll stand by himself. Like he can stand, but he just like when he wants to move, he'll just crawl. You know. Mm. Uh, but we've been like practicing with him up and down the hallway and stuff. Uh uh-huh. But he just he just wants to walk or he just wants to crawl. Like, whatever. My daughter did that, and then one day she was just running around the house. Yeah. Ah, Good such young, innocent, cute things, and then everyone becomes a sexual deviant. Mm-hmm. Or is it could just be me? <laughs> My daughter started ballet today, though. So oh cool. yeah. Aww. Yeah, she loved oh, yeah? it. Yeah. Well, like they have like this free trial this week, and. My daughter loved it so much that my wife just signed her up. She's going, it's like two or three times a week. And, uh, she's so, I like, so it's, it's, my daughter's been kind of like in this weird kind of like, I I mean, I don't know if three-year-olds can get depressed, but she's been like in this funk recently where like, she just like wants to be by herself. She's like kind of mopey. And I think it's because school's over and like some of her friends, like, when she sees them at the park, they're playing with other kids. And I think she's like coming to terms with like, sometimes her friends play with other kids and she doesn't understand mm-hmm. why they're, why they're not playing with her, you know? Mm-hmm. But like today was the happiest my wife and I have seen her in like probably two or three weeks. <clears throat> oh, because uh, not, you got a really, you got a social child. Uh, she lo- yeah. like, oh my gosh, she was so happy, and my wife bought her little ballet shoes because uh, she was nervous. And like, oh my gosh, my kid was so happy today, and like, it was a nice change of pace. Aww. So I just, I don't know. She's she's just been in a little bit of a funk, and it was nice to see her be excited and happy about something. <laughs> For sure. That's all. That was my kid moment. Oh, that was a good kid moment, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, she does run around the house with no pants on all the time, though. Yeah. That's like her. That's like been her thing for like two months. Where like she'll just she'll be watching like cartoons or something, and she'll just randomly take her pants off and just walk around the house. With it. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> she'll leave a shirt on, but she'll take her underwear and her pants off, and she'll just be half naked. <laughs> She thinks it's funny too, and she'll like go to answer the door and stuff and not put her pants on. Like, <laughs> you can't, you can't go outside with no pants on, kid. Why? 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. She colored her feet uh, blue today also when we when she got home because she said she wanted to be a Smurf. It's like, okay. That's so cute. It's like her whole feet? Yeah, her whole, like, wasted a whole marker just coloring herself. Oh, jeez. Wow. It's not the first time either, but... My question is how badly she cried bloody murder when uh you 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 just signed for bath. Oh man, she look she was so worn out. Like she she's in this phase where like she should probably take a nap, but she doesn't. And like sometimes at the end of the day, she's just so overly tired that she'll just like cry because she's, she's so tired. Yeah. And that was today. And I <laughs> I told you guys before we started recording that like. She fell asleep before, like, we ended our bedtime routine because she was so tired. And so did I. Uh, it's, it's, inter- <laughs> it's, it's interesting how, like, when we're young, like, we're so, we're so tired, we don't, we don't realize the best thing to do is just go to, go to bed, go to sleep. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, I don't, I, I, I've never understood. That's the one psychological part about, about kids I will never understand. You know, like, when you're overtired – but you're but you're pissed off and upset about the fact you're. But then again, I, I don't know. Like sometimes when I absolutely am ready to go to bed, I need need a nap. Like I I can get a little a little uh, a little irate, you know. But at the same time, like I just need to go to fuck the bed. <laughs> yeah, we just catch ourselves before. Yeah, they they don't know their own limits, basically. Yeah. Um, hey, I got a, another comment about people checking out our podcast but this one's not a dirty one but oh, I still wish. no dirty oh, ones are the only ones he says your pod seems like a big deal you have a whole network nice work Yay. i'm just part of the network we i should, don't have we should, we should have called ourselves big deal network big deal <laughs> network yeah. kind of a big that's, deal that's our alt <laughs> mm. yeah, buy it Laurent, buy the domain right now big deal network.com Big deal network. Hold on. Let me let me go to GoDaddy right now and see if it's there. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Is it there? Let's see. Tell us. Big on. deal network. Search. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. It's yep, available. It's there. Big deal network dot net dot org dot life dot us dot Oh, networks.com. So let's see. Hmm. There's What's a no... dot life? I don't know what a dot life you is. Can, you can buy other things than dot com and dot net now. Like, I didn't even know dot life existed. Yeah. But there's, dot, but there's dot co. Hmm. So com is, com is gone, but co is there. Hmm. Hmm. We can get that for a penny for the first for the first year. A penny? Buy it. Oh, shit. Get it. Yeah, but BigDealNetwork.com is taken. I will mail you a penny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shit, oh, no, that reminds me. I might me. do this. That uh, reminds me. I got to check something. Speaking of mailing people money. <laughs> you know what I'm going to mail you? Nothing. Nipple clamps. Great. You're welcome. I, I swear, like, like Corey's gonna like get us in chat when I. Hey guys, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see his sully nipples in it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. Um, I imagine him like uh, in the office during that 5K episode where Andy like tried to protect his nipples because they ch- were sensitive to chaf- chafing mm-hmm. and they were bleeding through his shirt. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, gross. <laughs> oh also just keep nipples all right so another thing about nipples <laughs> sorry i was watching 90 day fiance before the 90 days and there's a dude who got a tattoo around his nipple which i thought was the most tacky trashy type of tattoo like getting a tattoo around your nipple i don't know like i mean was it like an obvious circle yeah like a very oh, obvious shit. circle hmm. i don't know would you ever get a tattoo around your nipple? I don't know. It's kind of. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've been toying with the idea about tattoos in general because I don't like needles. 
So, and the, 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 the thought of sitting there for two to seven hours, getting this needle stabbed into your arm for that long sounds terrifying. Yeah. Imagine that, but on your nipple. Hmm. <laughs> When it comes to tattoos, like I'm at that age now, where it's like, where it's like, I'm probably only gonna get one tattoo, so I'm gonna kind of go all out. So you know, like I might have like the 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 whole rock thing, where it's like half of the pec and like all halfway down the down the bicep. That's gonna look awesome, but be painful as fuck. When yeah, I know. Uh, I know, like, like I don't like pain and discomfort, so I see that being like a like a multi session one. <laughs> I uh, not not a tattoo related more adjacent it's about a piercing i worked with i worked with a guy who had his dick pierced (laughs) and he no he had to leave work because he ripped it out oh (gasps) shit yeah how i don't i don't know he got his like he got his pants caught on something and like like it was at the restaurant like the freezer doors like the condiment unit doors like he got his pants stuck on one of the door handles, and his oh. ring got caught in it too, and he ripped it. Oh my god! So how does a penis piercing work? Is I it don't just know like through the dick, or just the yeah. top? It's usually know. it's they usually they usually go through the urethra, so like it uh. so like it goes it goes it basically goes top down, mm. basically. <laughs> Please stop. Basically, like it's one of those. You know, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Like, well, number one, I can't do it. Like, that's, I don't like this. One I've, bit. I've had body piercings. Like, I've, I've had my nipples pierced and stuff like that. But um, there's no way I'm getting a below the belt piercing. Mm. Um, what, what benefit is that? See, that's what I don't know. And the and the crazy part is, like, I don't like, like, guys with dick piercings, they're they're wild because like they will they will show you and like like no qualms. About about it like it's not even like it's not even the gay thing like they will just show you like if you have like even the slightest fascination they have a dick piercing they will probably they will probably offer to show it to you like but i just look at the purpose like i get why a tongue ring is hot because of you know why but like why would you want a piercing to go through your urethra like i don't (laughs) me neither and the problem and the problem and the problem i and and i've asked i've asked people that i know that had that that had like Prince Albert and Dick piercings before, it's uh, like when it comes out, like guess what? Like you know, like how we already men already get teased about the fact that we that we can't never piss straight into the toilet. Oh <laughs> yeah, we have a we have a hole in your you have a hole in the bottom part of your urethra. Like you're you're getting mo- a multiple stream thing at that point, you know, so ah! like that. Like as a matter of fact, like a lot of guys, a lot of guys that had piercings will tell me like oh, whether whether past or present like they'll they'll tell me i was like oh i just sit down to pee like it's <laughs> is that for life yeah oh that hole that hole that's the one hole that doesn't close up yeah i don't like any of this and, and also i've watched enough i've watched enough porn to where like having a piercing ruins the money shot Having a Ooh, piercing or does having, that come out everywhere uh, too? Yeah, having a piercing or having a remnant of a piercing, like it, yeah, it ruins the money shot in my opinion. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, I don't like, like I didn't come, I didn't come here for this. <laughs> oh no! I feel, oh hurt. no! I feel hurt right now. Everything now hurts. I feel like I need to go onto Pornhub to find one. Oh. I just want to see it. Speaking of speaking of piercings though, I've thought about getting my I've thought about getting my ears gauged. Like not a really big gauge though. Like, you know, I don't want I don't want I don't want people to like see like the inside of my brain, you know? Like you know how big some of those some people's gauges are in their ears oh, yeah. and stuff? Like I mean like I kinda just want like the the idea of the accessory there, you know, like just just like and not so much like, you know, like I'm not trying to put like a disc or a platter in my earlobe. I wish I could try the industrial again because I was working on getting industrial, I... but the the rings fell off mid work like during a shift, uh-huh. and the holes closed by the time I got home, and I was pissed. Oh damn! I had a fascination with industrials for a while, like I, like but um, I never like the only thing I ever got pierced was my nipples. Hmm. How was that? It was cool. Like um. Uh. Well, I learned that one nipple is more sensitive than the other. 
Yeah, because like the first one, and you know, it, 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 and I can't even like describe it. It was like you know, like how sometimes, like sometimes you anticipate something, like you know, when you're going to get a shot, right? Like if, if they're like, we're gonna give you three shots today, you know, like using the anticipation of one of the shots versus the other one, like you know, is more heightened or more sensitive. I don't, I can't really say for sure if that was the problem. I just think that one of my nipples is actually more sensitive than the other one because, like, I swear to God, it felt like. <laughs> I mean, you literally are getting impaled when they pierce you, but you know, like it felt like I was getting impaled when the second one happened. I was like, "Oh fuck!" Uh, but it was cool. Like, um, like I, like I had. Let me see. When initially, when um, okay, so I got pierced. That was a long time ago. When I got pierced, like I had, I had the 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 hoops. Um, and then um, and then once once the piercings actually healed to the point where like I could actually switch out. I went. To, I did the barbells, and those those are those are pretty freaking cool. Nice. The only problem the only problem is like like scar tissue. Like you know, like now I have like permanently like hard nipples because <laughs> they clo- they closed up. Oh. All right, that's good to know because like I've yeah. played with the idea of nipple piercings, but I'm very hesitant on on pulling the trigger on that one. Yeah. Would I would I would I get would I get them pierced again? Uh, at this point, no. Like. If I if I if I thought about it like after it closed up like maybe a year or late a year or so later I would have like gotten them redone but then I was like you know what nah I've already I've already done it it's it's time to move on. Mm-hmm. All the things we do to our bodies. Yeah. I don't know, but I think piercings are hot. Maybe not the dick piercing. That's <laughs> not hot. Another thing I thought was cool, but now it's like now it's like you would definitely get judged. Like like getting like getting like the freaking the, the the tramp stamp basically. Yeah. Like I thought I thought those were so cool and then like they, they got such a bad rep real fast and I was like, Thank God I didn't get my zodiac sign like at the small of my back. Ass so just, antlers. Ass oh, antlers. <laughs> Some people get like a piercing where the tramp stamp would be, like through the like little squishy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I don't understand that. Well, then again, those are those are people who are into like the body modifications, because like, because like, how about the people who have like the the big ass fucking piercings, like you know, like in certain parts of their backs and stuff? Yeah, that's like, woo. Yeah, I would not be comfortable with that. I mean, teach his own, but that's kind of like mm, not for me, not for me. Pass. Pass. Good times. I think we yeah. traumatized Corey. <laughs> no, I'm just starting to hit that point in the night where I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. You're gonna to... turn to a gremlin? Maybe. Yeah, I I like to call I like to call it like 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 since uh, like like uh, like like time aphasia, where it's like, or it's like you get to that, you get to that point where it's like it's late it's late enough for your metabolism or whatnot that then like everything like. It's like your vision, everything starts blending together. Like your words start slurring, you know. Um, like your neck muscles start getting weak for some apparent reason. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Like you know, like how you like when you nod off, you know, like. Oh that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, since we're since we're talking about that, I guess this is a good place to wrap it up, Evan. Perfect. Right. Wrap yeah. it up with a bow. I'm glad you said with a bow and not something else. <laughs> with handcuffs. Fuzzy handcuffs. This has been Boss Rush After Dark, the alternative podcast, the flagship show for the Boss Rush Network. Before we head out, we'd like don't to lose thank you key. all. What? <laughs> so don't lose the key. Don't lose... Definitely don't lose the key. <laughs> Before we head out, we want to thank you all for tuning in and listening to the show. Uh, once again, Corey, Stephanie, Glad we were here to do this again for another for another night for another awesome episode. Uh, before we head out, here's how you can get with the crew and stay connected to us. Uh, Stephanie, you're up first. People can find me at Klimov K L I M O V underscore author on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Boss Rush podcast Wednesday nights, Standard Def uh, Disney edition, and my articles on BossRush.net. All right, Corey. You can find me at I am Corey and HD on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on the Boss Rush Podcast, Nintendo Power Block, and Standard Definition, and a lot of other things here on the Boss Rush. All right. And as always, you can find me on social media, Twitch, YouTube, um, PlayStation Network, Steam, just by looking up Exodus803. Uh, that's, that's how you get me. Uh, once again, I want to say thank you to everyone that's been – that's 
we love you guys like whether you're a patron whether you're on a free feed stuff like that or whether you just like the idea of just hanging out with us whenever we do this stuff uh come back and join us for another installment of boss rush after dark the show where the stuff that we talk about is not always constant appropriate for our anchor shows we love you guys and have a good night bye bye